Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, in this video, I'm going to offer you the traditional proof of E as a limit, uh, which is showing that uh, this is true. Lim is n goes to infinity uh, of uh, 1 plus uh, 1 over n to the n is equal to E. So this is what we want to show, yeah? Okay, now uh, the traditional proof goes like this, which is like, let's let y equal, um, let's let y equal 1 plus 1 over n to the n, right? If we let y equal this, then it follows that the natural log of y is equal to n times, um, n times the natural log of uh, 1 plus 1 over n. All I've done is take ln of this and ln of that, and then I used the log rules to bring down the power once I've put ln, right? So basically, this was here, right? That n, and I could bring it down in front, right? Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, remember, y is this. Uh, let's take uh, the limit here. So we'll have lim as n goes to infinity is n goes to infinity of ln of y, right, is equal to lim as n goes to infinity of, um, huh, of uh, this here, which I'm going to write as ln of, ln of uh, 1 plus 1 over n over 1 over n. And I'm allowed this, right? All I've done is uh, showed that multiplying by n is the same as dividing by 1 over n, right? Okay. And it suits me to do this, to rewrite this in this fashion, because now uh, as I send n to infinity, what am I going to get? ln of 1 plus 0, so ln of 1, which is 0, over 0, right? I get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form that allows me to use L'Hopital's rule. So I use L'Hopital's rule, which says that I should do the limit again uh, by first taking the derivative of the numerator and then dividing that by the derivative of the denominator, right? So using L'Hopital's rule, and I have many videos on L'Hopital, so check those out. But yeah, uh, we're saying that we could uh, now look at uh, this limit, and it will be the same as the limit that we want to evaluate over here. And that limit again is the derivative of the numerator. So that's 1 over uh, 1 plus 1 over n. And then by chain rule, I just uh, posted a video on the proof of the chain rule. It's really cool. So check it out. But yeah, by chain rule, now I have to multiply by the derivative of this here, the inside. And that's 0 plus the derivative of 1 over n, which is negative uh, 1 over n squared, right? But I said I have to multiply, so there, the parentheses. And then divide this by the derivative of the denominator. What's the derivative of the denominator? Well, it's the derivative of um, uh, 1 over n, which we just talked about. So the derivative of this fella is negative uh, 1 over n squared. How convenient, because now it means that I could do this. Boom, boom, right? And once I do, uh, the limit I want uh, turns into limit as n goes to infinity of um, 1 over uh, 1 plus 1 over n. And so as n goes to infinity, this here turns into 1. But wait, that 1 is the same as this limit. So it's the same as this limit. So what we have is uh, lim as n goes to infinity of ln of y is equal to 1. Yeah? And now using limit rules, I could write this, which is ln of, let me write it somewhere over here. I could write that this is the same as ln of lim as n goes to infinity, as n goes to infinity of y equals 1. And next I go e, e, ah. So that means that lim as n goes to infinity of y is e to the first. So we conclude that lim as n goes to infinity of y is equal to e to the first or e. But wait, we said the y was right here. And therefore, we're saying limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n all to the n power is e, as desired. Yeah? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this, and take care. Keep watching.